Здравствуйте, друзья! Вы видите наш дом в Санивейле, который мы сдали недавно. Мы идем туда. Вот тут гости съехались. Паркинг работает наш. Смотрите, как хорошо. Вот мы пришли в гости. И тут будет интересное мероприятие. Hello! Hi! Hey, I'm Michael. Oh, you're on the camera. Hi. Yes. Hi. So, would you introduce yourself? Introduce myself. Yes. yes. Okay. Joni Sayer, I'm a chef. I teach classes. Yes. Let me take a look okay, at the house. Where, where I, I, didn't, I didn't see this no, okay, since we, we rented our, the house. Ah, yes. Так, ну что, друзья, вы видите наш дом, но он уже теперь обжитой. В нем люди живут. И вот здесь проводятся классы, уроки. Вот там стоят столы. Смотрите, как, как это все обжилось. Вот. Стоит стол, тут у них уроки. Там, наверное, это все-таки больше для жизни у людей. Слушайте, у них там на улице тоже, давайте глянем. Что там? Это наш вот грибочек был. Так. Вот он наш грибочек, ну, в смысле, беседочка. Вот к ней сетки, там на всякий случай, там отмок каких-нибудь. Они вполне комфортно устроились, я смотрю, хорошо. И там тоже у них беседочка, в смысле, скамеечка, столик. Все очень классно. Так. Вот теперь вид отсюда. Вот мы. Вот мы. Светлана принесла там всякую еду. Это, так сказать, к столу. И мы будем сейчас тоже чего-нибудь готовить. So, yes. More. Больше цитрусовых. Так, Светик, ты свое ферментированное несешь? Да. Yeah. Well, kind kind of, kind of. no, is... Ну что, друзья, у нас будет oh, два блюда. Oh, Первое, вы видите oh. здесь, это салатик. Будет вот это хикама на салат. Uh -huh. Вот она так и называется, хикама. Тут у нас орешки, это вишня, Свет? Да. Yeah. Орешки, орешки, вишня и морковочка. Салат обалденный, мы не первый раз делаем, но мы, Света хотела Джонни показать, uh -huh. вот что, что она готовит. Это будет, Света, что это будет? А это будет овощной похудательный суп, очень полезный. Суп полезный. Суп. Ну хорошо, значит, мы видим э, лук, мы видим, вот что тут такое. Вы знаете, что тут много всего, тут много всего. Вот, если вы увидите, я не знаю. В общем, приправка такая. Ну и, соответственно, значит, скваши, капустка, зеленый горошек. А вот это вот замороженное там в пакете, это бульон куриный замороженный. А это Светлана принесла, чтобы Джонни попробовала. Так, это ну как бы такая буженина из индюшки. Это буженина из индюшки, сделанная на пару. На Причем, пару. почему я подчеркиваю, да. потому что она выглядит, как будто она зажарена. Окей, okay, на пару. Так, это steam. Света, э, ну скажи, что а, это. Значит, это животики от салмона. Так. This is salmon bellies. И я их закоптила в качестве эксперимента. Просто Они спрессованы, да? Я, я их просто положила друг на друга yeah. и закоптила. Окей. Okay. Kind of pressed together. И это, значит, ферментированная красная капуста. Okay. Уже без... В прошлый раз мы показывали капусту, которую мы ферментировали вместе с... со свеклой. Да. Это Или свеклой, как свек... да. Это вот. свеклой, свеклой. Вот. А здесь никакой свеклы нет, это просто красная капуста. Никакой свеклы или свеклы нет. Да. Так. А вот это все то, то же самое, только это напа кебич, да, китайская капуста. Да. И морковка. С морковочкой сделаем. Надо сказать, sure. что, надо сказать, что вот это вот э, желудочки салмона пахнут невероятно. Кап Капченым пахнут, да. Вот, друзья, мы видим, как оно. Oh, Вон отрай. Yes. Так, значит, сегодня значит, Джоди у нас не, не будет показывать своего искусства. Сегодня мы изучаем светина, так сказать, мастерство. Вот. А пахнет очень хорошо вот, вот этим. Вот очень-очень хорошо пахнет. Это буженинка, да, ее нужно красиво порезать. Буженина сделана из индейки. Вот она да. как выглядит. Давай, ну, окей. Она у тебя, надо сказать, как-то так болтается в руке немножко. Ну, потому что она неправильной форме, это же все-таки не свинина кусок. Да. А что ты ее режешь? Кто, да. кто это все есть будет? Буни будет пробовать, мы будем пробовать сегодня. Окей. Значит, надо сказать, что надо попробовать тут будет здоров. 
Ah, I'm not savvy of these, this, the meats like this, and uh -huh. the deli meats, and I don't know the names. I'm, uh -huh. I'm certain we have them, but I'm certain that it comes from our words, our names come from a, a, a Europe. So when you teach cooking, uh, yes. do you teach specific uh, type of cooking? or Yes, I have Which specific one? classes. I have Italian class where we okay. make pasta, and then pasta? A, pair, uh, a Spanish class, and we make uh, paella. Wait a second, but pasta, yes. pastas are widely available. Um, so ah, but homemade. Ho oh, homemade. So then. it demystifies, oh. it takes the mystery out of making homemade pasta. So my pasta has three ingredients, flour, mm -hmm. egg, and salt. That's it? Yeah, that's it. That's, yeah. that's usually yes. what it looks like. And some, some have flour and water. I have not made this. But okay. flour, egg, and salt. And then the ratio of those makes a difference. So then I teach how to make flour and you know, mix up the egg and then uh, feel for the right consistency. Mm -hmm. And then my machines are over here. Mm -hmm. And it's a hand crank pasta machine. Or I have the KitchenAid stand mixer. Mm -hmm. And then I have an extruder attachments that then you can make six different pastas. Wow. Uh, yes. You mean, you mean can I show you? Yes, in sure. The yes. In, in, in the different shapes. Ah, yeah. okay. So it, it's about shape. Okay. Yes. So it's back here. So this, the attachment I have for the KitchenAid, mm -hmm. we have six different attachments. Okay. Yes. Like a It's a nasad. Dear friends, there are six штук. Только да шесть насадок. And this is like elbow, so, right? This is yes, elbow. yes. So bucatini, small macaroni, spaghetti, large macaroni, rigatoni. And fusilli. Mm. So I have this attachment for my KitchenAid uh, machine right here. Yeah. Yes, and this is the attachment. And here are all the here are all the um, discs. So depending okay. on the size and shape mm -hmm. of this is what you have. See, this is the little. Wow. Ones. It will it will actually press through. That's right. Exactly. Oh. It'll press it through. And um, and it, it'll come out to be these shapes. Mm -hmm. And then I have this the uh, the hand crank. So it's using you just kind of yes. <laughs> and you have you have the pasta in here, and you connect the two ends of the dough, and then you have this belt. Mm -hmm. okay, yes, it. it's a crank here. Uh -huh. And then it cranks. So I this, have, this is only for the flat one, right? So you this is yes. This 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 I have three rollers. Uh -huh. The first roller is for making flat sheets, uh -huh. like lasagna, mm -hmm. okay. or something that you're going to make for a ravioli. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you need the flat sheets. Yes. Okay. And then for this one is the fettuccine or tagliatelle, and then that oh, moves here. Where you put your, your, your the crank. Mm -hmm. I want a ringtone for this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You call me, and this will be the sound. <laughs> yeah, it's mm -hmm. a different sound. It's a different sound. Okay. Okay. Yes. So you you mentioned your other classes. Yes, paella. Uh, what what's that? Paella is a Spanish rice dish. It's made on a a big pan, an open pan like this, shallow, but it has rice at the bottom and then all sorts of things on top. My like, like, like meat, uh, meat, meat and seafood, uh -huh. veggies. Mm. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, it should be good. Yes. Paella. 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 Mm -hmm. So here is the paella pans. Here. Ага, это сковородочка, кастрюля для паяя. Oh, it's it's more than one. It's multiple. Size. So here's one serving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when I have classes and eight people are in the class and one person is vegetarian, mm -hmm. then I can do a one serving vegetarian. Mm -hmm. mm. Actually, it can be uh, um, filling, so it can be two people. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then this one, it's it, different sizes. It, but it, I see this is a very special kind of, it, it, That's it, right. it's supposed to be like... Is it metal? The, the metal it's, and it's carbon, shade. carbon steel. Okay. It's not stainless steel, it's carbon steel. Okay. And this one had, this tube that you can't see now has been used. It, it's like but a see smoke, these little, right? It's smoke. Yeah, it's little divots. Little, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes, and so this helps release the crusty rice bottom at the end of the cookie. Ah, so basically it makes the, the crust at the bottom. Yes. Because you do not mix it all, all together. You don't mix it? 
and you want that crusty bottom. It's called sakarat. Mm. Sakarat. Sakarat is a very um, crispy rice bottom. Oh. So paella, and then also Thai food. Mm -hmm. I have a Thai menu, a Thai dinner. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Variety of things, or yes, tom kha soup. Okay. Pad Thai uh -huh. and mango sticky rice. Okay, three, three pieces. Yes. Ah, uh, one more. <clears throat> An appetizer, mien kham. Mien kham is a uh, uh, spinach leaf, and then you have peanut sauce, and spread that peanut sauce on the mm -hmm. spinach leaf, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you have little ramekins of little little dishes of all sorts of small thing, and then you put it put all in. on top, and then roll it up and. Wow, okay. that's very, very good. time consuming to make it. <laughs> it some of it is already pre-made, mm -hmm. uh, chopped already. Mm -hmm. I can buy it that way. Yeah. So you, yes. so you do not have like hundreds of classes to rotate students, you know, from class to class. Yeah, I've been focusing on the foods that I love. Uh -huh. And another one is French. Mm -hmm. I've made cocovan. Uh -huh. Cocovan. Well, what's uh, cocovan? Cocovan is a chicken in, in wine. Chicken cooked in wine. Mm. Mm, cocovan, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. And then uh, beef bourguignon. Okay. Yes. And then um, oh, Mediterranean chicken, braised chicken. Okay. And I'm working on a Moroccan tagine class and then also an, an Indian class. I also want to do Mexican and we're just going to make a super nachos. I love nachos. These are all the foods I love. People who come to, let's say, Mexican food classes, yes. they, are, they are not Mexicans. No. Okay. No. So people who will come for Indian no. cooking class are not supposed no. to be Indians. No. No. Okay. No. So the target audience is uh, Americans who you want to introduce to certain ethnic foods. Ah, my target audience is not just Americans. It's, it's, uh, my target audience is kids and mm. adults mm -hmm. and like families families, uh, couples, and uh, team building, uh, corporate corporate uh, groups. Mm. So team building. Okay. So Monday through Friday, most of my classes are, are corporate groups. Mm -hmm. Six In people, eight people, interesting. 12 people. <laughs> from so just bonding, you know, uh, yeah. they okay, come okay. and say, oh, you know what, you should have to okay, share this. Okay. So <laughs> you don't have to go to their office, you, you do it here. They come here most okay. times, 95% mm -hmm. of the class, 98% of the class. But how, how do you market you do that? I have, um, I have five different platforms and I'm online, mm -hmm. my website. Mm -hmm. So people just do a Google search, cooking classes, Sunnyvale, cooking classes, couples, mm -hmm. cooking, cooking classes, kids. Kids cooking class, you know, and then they find my website. So cooking, cooking uh, classes couples yes. is a kind of separate market niche. People yes. want to come as couples. As a date night. Uh -huh. yes. 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 Interesting. Instead or a husband the... surprises the wife. The wife loves to cook. Uh -huh. And he's maybe not so much a good cook, but mm -hmm. she's been wanting a cooking class. Mm -hmm. And so they do this. He surprises her with a cooking class. Mm -hmm. And they come up to the, the door and the... I can tell the wife is just perplexed, like, why are we here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I, I'm ha I have my apron on and I have the paella pan in my hand mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or the pasta machine in my hand. I said, surprise, you're here to cook a pasta. <laughs> we're we're going to have an Italian meal and then you're going to sit down to eat. Wow. Okay. And then yeah, you that, take that, home that, the leftovers. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes, yeah. it's so yeah. much fun. It's yeah. so much fun. Interesting. Yes. Okay. So that's weekends. It's mostly families and couples. Mm -hmm. And then... Is uh, let's the, say in a good day. So how big? Yes. I mean, how many people might be here? Yes. Uh, so for, for lunch, class? for lunch it might be eight people um, for the French class. Mm -hmm. Yes. And for dinner it might be six people for the Thai class. Okay. And so I hire staff, and they help me during the class, and then between the classes, and doing the clean up. Yeah, yeah the clean up and transition and. And uh, some, so it doesn't happen often that there are two but, classes but in one the, day. But the kind of disposition, so here you cook or on that? Uh, oh, how is it set up? Yes. Yes, I have stations. So I have a station here. Um, right here would be cutting boards and they're making uh, ragu. Uh -huh. And they're, um, or the paella. Yes. We have onions and bell peppers and, you know, vegetables here. So we have cooking. And, and they are around the uh, we uh, island? Them. Yes, oh, we okay. move the chairs. Mm -hmm. We move the chairs. And so, yes, yeah, standing, there's three people, four people. Mm -hmm. And then over on that table is where I mostly set up my pasta making. Mm -hmm. So on that table over there. Back here, 
they're making tiramisu for the Italian meal, mm. or maybe they're making a cake for the paella. Okay. Uh, mango, uh, maybe the mango sticky rice mm -hmm. for the Thai class. And then over here, over here, then mm. I have there drinks. There's a little one. I have yeah. drinks, and then maybe they're making sangrias. Mm -hmm. So the sangrias, we have sangrias for um, for the pa uh, paella class. What, what will be in the bottles? This is a uh, water. I I, just, oh, okay. I fill it. I fill it with the filtered water and it's put a, it at the a, table. It is a filter. Okay. It's this is a filter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Well, and know, I'm glad that the kitchen is so big and nice. And so that's it, perfect. It actually, you can accommodate the And the, the, the painting will remind them of France or Italy uh, or Sp Spain or yeah, yeah. yes, and it will be it will be on the wall. <laughs> so I've been here six weeks. Uh, okay. Six weeks, seven weeks. Okay, okay. and uh, what what is that one for? Uh, okay, so this one when um, with eight people, sometimes. There's one or two people who just don't want to cook. Mm -hmm. They'd rather watch. Mm -hmm. So they can sit here. It's like a theater. And Very sometimes nice. I have napkins here and maybe some drinks or mm -hmm. uh, some nibbles, uh, appetizers. Mm -hmm. Um, Very cool. ah. But people, when they come to only to watch, are they allowed to eat after all? Oh, sure. Or, or yes. they, they only watch? Uh, would would <laughs> they eat? or? All, all of them are eat. Yes, okay. we all cook together and then we sit down to eat together. Mm -hmm. And then this table is six here. Mm -hmm. But it pulls out like this, uh -huh. and this on, on both sides? Yes, and then wow. now I have 12 people. Wow, wow. you can really make it big. Yes, I can, do, I can do five people here, and then two. Yeah, okay, so Ten, 12, uh, 12 people. 12 people. Yes. Yeah. So this just pops in. It, it pops in. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So then I have... Um, uh, automatically, I have a, a longer table. So, and the TV part so the, is, is not for um, uh, classes, it's yes. just, you just uh, have it yourself. Sometimes people are here and they have a, a phone call. Uh -huh. You know, a corporates, they need to check their messages, uh -huh. and then they go sit down over there. Uh -huh. mm, also, okay. when people come in, especially with corporates, they have backpacks and bags and Sometimes they wheeling their luggage mm -hmm. like they're from out of town. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so that goes back there and their jackets or their mm -hmm. bags and then they can go sit if they need mm -hmm. to retrieve something mm -hmm. or do something. So that's Okay. Inter yes. Interesting. Yes, yes. Yeah, but I believe they know that it's spacious enough. Okay. It's spacious enough. Okay. And there's uh, there's enough room in here. Yeah. You know, for two people facing this way and this way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know. And then um, oh over here. This is where I have all the appetizers. I put, um, I put, um, I put uh, a bread basket and crackers, mm -hmm. and then the plates and the forks and the uh, uh, napkins, um, jams and jellies, mm -hmm. and uh, a cheese a cheese board. I put a cheese board right here. Oh, I can see it now. It says team building cooking classes. Yes. Давайте мы возьмем у Джонни бизнес-карточку и покажем вам, что тут написано. Yes, and my father is 100% Norwegian, mm -hmm. and his grandfather, grandmother came over from Norway. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then my mother's mother is. Um, um, German, Czechoslovakian, that, that. Oh, so European kind. Yeah, European. And then uh, my mother's father is from Ireland. Так, подожди, так, мы сегодня это пробовать будем, то, что ты принесла? Да, это же ланч. А, у нас ланч. Хорошо. Do you want the piece? Let it stay in the fridge for now, because it's a very last piece, so I don't want it to... А мы не завтра принесли? Нет, ели что-то у нас. Пельмени. Пельмени, пельмени, да, самодельные, если это все правильно. Yeah, мы покушаем. Then, mm, То есть мы не просто готовим, друзья, а мы это еще и съедим. Что вот 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 из за taste of that? What? It's sour. Okay. There's a sweet when you bite into the cabbage, mm -hmm. and then there's a salty. It's just so it's so simple. Уже не напробуется. It just looks so good. I, mean, yeah, I, I yeah. don't want to try. Yeah. So this is um, turkey. Turkey. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. На пару. Steamed. Steamed. Yeah? It's steamed. 
It tastes like it's been roasted, but it's just moist. But, uh, I basically marinated it with the, mm. um, with the juice from the cabbage. And oh. I add um, mustard and other spices there, mm -hmm. so it was there like so, soaking before. So I, 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 the, the, I, see the, 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 I see the peppercorn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you left on the skin. Скажи по-русски, скажи, что ты сделал. Я замариновала их в своем любимом жидкости вот от капусты. Добавил туда горчицы, чеснока, лука. На самом деле рассол содержался. Это был рассол не от капусты даже, это был рассол от лука маринованного вместе с ананасами. Ну, то есть фактически индюшка как бы находилась в этой жидкости. Она находилась в этой жидкости до того, как ее готовили. Потом да. ее вытащила из этой жидкости и готовила уже на пару okay, okay. вот, вот, в инстант пате. Окей, окей. So it was, it was that instant mm. pate. Yeah. Ладно, so easy and it looks completely okay. like it was fried. Yeah, yeah. У нас дискуссия, друзья, пришла к тому, как Света делает, как она коптит. И вот эта рыбка как раз из, нашего, из нашей коптилки. И вот Джо, Джонни, Джонни пробует рыбку. So you are coming from a gym? Yes, I'm from the gym. Yeah, I'm Michael. Do you like salmon? Yeah. Oh my god, she smoked this. Oh, nice. And it's just, it's like a delicacy. It's 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 a it's a it's a and basically you cannot try it anywhere else. You know, different kind of salmon, grilled, the way you make this. I like it because it's not like it's not. I don't like cooked salmon. Yeah. I like a lot of raw salmon. Yeah. Yeah. And this is closer to the raw. That's right.